everyone, Tina here for Paper Tray Ink. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm so glad you're joining me. We're creating a Christmas card today and we're using the Hear the Bells stamp set. This is a lovely stamp set with lots of bells and holly and pine needles and ribbon. I'm going to use the coordinating die to cut out my images and then we're going to do a little bit of stamping with this. We're also going to bring in a new die set. This is pretty fabulous. If you love borders, this has a variety of borders and it's the On the Edge Scallops border. We're going to bring in one of these for our card today. We're going to start by doing some die cutting. I'm going to take some white cardstock and we're going to die cut out the ribbon and the bow and some holly leaves and the small bells. We're not going to do the larger bells, just the smaller ones. I have everything die cut out with white cardstock and I picked out some of my inks. For the bells, we're going to be using Harvest Gold and Honey Nut. For our holly leaves, we're going to be using Ripe Avocado and Simply Chartreuse. For our holly berries, we're going to be using Pure Poppy and Scarlet Jewel. And then for the ribbon, we're going to use those same inks, Pure Poppy and Harvest Gold. So I put everything on my acrylic blocks and we're going to start, I'll just do one for you and then we can, um, I'll do the rest off camera. But I'll, it's basically just two layers. So first we're going to take Pure Poppy. I'm going to go ahead and ink Pure Poppy up and then we're going to stamp this. It's very easy to line up, you see here? And then we're gonna go ahead and take our darker red ink, which is Scarlet Jewel, and we're gonna go ahead and add our detail layers. Stamp this. And there, just two little details make a big difference. So there's our holly berries. Now, since we have our red ink out. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my bow and we're going to use the same Pure Poppy ink. I'm going to go ahead and go over this with my hand a little bit, kind of season this stamp. And then we're going to go ahead and add Pure Poppy to our bow. It's a pretty large bow and I think maybe a stamping positioner would work great, but we'll ink up with Pure Poppy and we're going to stamp our bow. Lovely. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the ribbon, since we have a Pure Poppy out, and we're going to go ahead and stamp all of our ribbons here. those are done here what we're going to do is take in our scarlet jewel and then there is a second layer to the ribbon it kind of looks like a little bit like a butterfly or a dragonfly i'm going to go ahead and ink this up with scarlet jewel and then we're going to add the detail piece And our ribbon is all good to go. And our ribbon is done. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my green inks and we're gonna stamp our holly. Holly leaf base, which is the most solid. We'll ink this up with our Simply Chartreuse. And then we'll go ahead and stamp this. Wonderful. And then for our second layer, we're going to go ahead and use ripe avocado. And we will add our detail layer, which adds so much. And that is our holly leaf. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. Our holly leaves are all done. Let me show you the scarlet. One of the leaves is with Simply Chartreuse with um, Ripe Avocado. The other one is Ripe Avocado with Scarlet Jewel. So a little bit of red in those leaves makes it really nice. I think they're going to go really well together. Lastly, we're here going to create our bells. And we're going to start with our light ink, which is Harvest Gold. There's two layers to the bell, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp our first layer right over the top. 
I mean, hmm. For our bells, I decided to switch out my Harvest Gold for um, Summer Sunrise. I think it's a little bit more darker. So we're going to take our Summer Sunrise and we're going to go ahead and stamp this. Lovely. It's a, a little bit more of a warmer gold color. And then we're going to use our detail piece with Honey Nut. And so we'll just ink this up. And you'd be amazing just what the detail piece does. We're going to go ahead and add this. And our bells are good. Wonderful. And our bells are all done. Okay, I have a one inch, one inch by four and a quarter inch strip of white cardstock. I'm going to take my true black ink and we're going to stamp deck the halls. I'm going to stamp it off to the right here. Wonderful. And then I'm going to bring in two die sets. I'm going to bring in my rectangle die here. We're going to cut this out with white cardstock. And then I'm also going to bring in my scallop borders. And I'm going to die cut this border out with white cardstock. So we have our scallop border here. We're going to go ahead and add some adhesive behind our one inch strip that we put our greeting on. And then I'm going to tack it down. Like so. And then I have my quarter inch strip of pure poppy. We're going to cover the seam with this and then I'm going to trim off the edges. And then our greetings done. I am going to take my bow and we're going to add the bow over here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put some foam squares behind here. And we're going to add our bow here. So there is our greeting. And then I'm, I brought in a panel, an A2 panel. This is created with the I don't know if Paper Tray Ink still has this or not, but it's the Candy Cane Friends. So I just trimmed down a panel that was four and a quarter by five and a half inches. We're going to go ahead and adhere this directly to the front of our card base. We're going to tack this down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to line this panel up here on my card base and then I'm going to take this piece. This is going to go across the top, but I just kind of want to do a little bit of measuring. So I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to mark some scalloped edges here. This is just going to tell me um, where to overlap my holly, which is what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to use some foam squares and we're going to pop up our holly just underneath our pencil mark. Let's go ahead and kind of alternate. Okay, let's take our, we're going to take our panel, we're going to flip it over, we're going to put some foam tape behind here, and then we're going to take this panel and place it right here. I'm just going to remove the release paper, and we're going to tack this to the center of our card base. Okay, after we have this done, we're going to work on our ribbon strings. Now, I do like a little bit of texture on my cards, so I'm going to bring in some white twine. I'm just going to cut a small piece. I'm going to thread my bell here, like so. 
I'll flip over. We're going to add adhesive to the reverse side of our ribbon. We're going to tack down our twine. I'm going to trim a little bit off. And then I'm going to take some foam tape. And then I will add a foam square behind the bell. This part's going to be overlaying on, on our holly. But I do like the little dimension that that adds. Okay, we're going to do the same thing to the rest of our bells. So all our bells are attached to our ribbon. We're going to remove the release paper here. I'm going to add some adhesive at the very top and then we're going to arrange our bells. I'm going to use this as a guide and I'm going to do a little tucking with this. And we'll do the same thing with the rest of them. We're going to tack down our bells to the front of our card. We're going to take our greeting, and I did put a thin strip of foam tape along the very top. We're just going to remove the release paper from that, and then we're going to tack this down at the very top, covering up those ribbons there. Lovely. And then we have some berries. I don't know, let's see, maybe we'll just use a couple. Maybe we'll do a little bit of tucking with the berries here. Now we're going to finish off our card with a little bit of sparkle. I'm going to bring in my unicorn stickles and we're going to add a little bit of shine or sparkle to our bells. I'm just going to follow along here. And then now we'll finish my card today for Paper Tray Ink. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.